Some 50 years ago, priests wore black vestments and there would be a black pall that would be put over the, the casket rather than a white pall. And now it's more of a joyous time. Alleluia's are sung and the priest wears white vestments. And it's a, it's, a, it's a joyful time because the Christian has gone through life and has now gone on to what we consider the fullness of life, to the life in Christ, to the life everlasting. There are a number of symbols that are used in the funeral service. One of the, the, the big symbols is the Paschal candle, the Easter candle. Their life is to be like a candle, a light. And the symbolism of the Paschal candle at, at the funeral carries that through, that they are to be the light as Jesus was the light of the world. At the funeral, there is holy water. And the holy water reminds us of the baptismal water. And the casket is sprinkled with the holy water. And I think that it carries through uh, from baptism to the funeral. I think there's a great connection uh, with the life in between, of course. Incense is also used, and incense is the life of the Christian rising, the smoke of the incense. At the Eucharist, we believe that Jesus is truly present under the appearance of bread and wine. And it's terribly important to celebrate that at the end of the Christian's life because a Christian has partaken of the Eucharist in life and to be able to come together to receive the body and blood of Christ is a tremendous celebration of the life that has gone before us.